Imagine an energy source which uses only waste materials. An energy source which generates no pollution. An energy source which doesn't need subsidies to make a genuine profit. Such an energy source exists. This is Biogen at Bedfordia Farms at Milton Ernest in Bedfordshire. Here we take waste food which would otherwise have been thrown into landfill sites and mix it with slurry from our own pigs. Inside these huge vats the mixture is pasteurised to kill any potentially harmful microbes. It breaks down as it would in nature and generates methane which we burn to make electricity for the national grid. This is like one huge stomach. The whole thing sits at uh, about 38 degrees. It's warm if I put my hand on it. And uh, it's full right to the top with the food. That's all stewing away, being mixed. And then the gas is collected in the top, which then goes back into the engine to run the engine, to run the generator into the grid. What's left over is this digestate. And this is what we use as fertilizer on the fields. Um, and it's very good for, it's a very good organic fertilizer. The Biogen process at Milton Ernest makes environmentally beneficial use of 12,000 cubic metres of pig slurry and 30,000 tonnes of food waste every year. It generates enough electricity to continuously power a thousand homes and the team at Bedfordia hope the same process could soon be used all over the country. It's a technology that is uh, it's, um, used around the world an awful lot in third world countries. Uh, sort of on a very, very sort of small basis where they're actually um, uh, using um, food waste and animal storage to actually uh, heat their own houses or to actually do their cooking on. Um, this is just a, a large scale version of that. So it's basically, it's really a natural process. The, the market's right for it within the UK because there's a lot of pressure on um, uh, to move product away from uh, landfill and to hit recycling targets. Uh, cardboard, glass, plastics, all part of that, but so is food waste as well. And local authorities will get fined really quite heavily if they don't actually hit these targets. So the time is right for biogas within the UK, amongst a num number of other technologies, but it does fit in very, very well. The process is not fussy. It can use pretty much any waste food. And we take all sorts of waste, as you can see from behind me, um, we can take meat products, uh, we've got flour here, we've got sugar glaze, all sorts. This is all the packaged waste, which we then have to tip in the, in the heat, which we then depackage uh, to go on into the process. Uh, we also take unpackaged waste and biodegradable. There's some dough behind me that's in paper sacks that we can put the whole lot in for that. That's, that's fine. Uh, and we have bananas and we have all sorts of bakery waste, sandwich waste, all that sort of stuff. That'll all go in. Bedfordi has taken great pains to achieve all the correct licensing as part of a commitment to ensure the process has absolutely no downsides for the environment. It's actually a very good, very good process. The plant here um, actually has a sealed system. Uh, whereby any drainage, so anything going into the plant, actually drains into a sealed sump, which will then go through the process and end up um, as part of the biofertiliser, which will be spread on the land. Uh, so the, the, the water's all contained, any kind of liquor runoff. Uh, likewise, we capture the methane, so we capture all the gases, um, which are then go into the uh, energy generation, electricity, and the heat we use back in the process. So again, we're capturing all of that. So it's actually a very positive thing for the environment. Nobody would suggest Biogen can save the planet on its own. But as one strand of a combined strategy, including wind, wave and solar power, it can play its part in reducing our dependence on greenhouse gas emitting fossil fuels. What's more, food waste, which normally goes into landfill, releases substantial amounts of methane into the atmosphere, where it's one of the worst greenhouse gases, 22 times more destructive than carbon dioxide. Well, we set something up as a win-win-win. It's a win for farming, it's a win for renewable energy, and also it's a win for recycling food waste. 
Biogen is now rolling out this technology to other farms and hopes to have 15 similar plants up and running by 2011, turning pig muck and old sandwiches into power for a greener future.